Hi everyone, welcome to my series of sewing for a customer. As I told you in my previous video that I'm sewing four blouses for one of my customers and this is my second blouse of the series. As you can see, I have already made the pattern. This pattern is from my pattern shop. Uh, you can find it, find the link in the description box. And this is called SP20, the code is SP20. As you can see, I have already copied the pattern in the desired size that I want to work on. I have placed the outer and the lining fabric together and now I am marking my seam allowance, which is half inch seam allowance. If you're used to working with lesser or more seam allowance, that is totally up to you, you can do that. Although my patterns come with seam allowance marked, uh, but you can choose to mark your own seam allowance. I prefer giving 1 inch seam allowance at the side just in case you need to do any changes in the fitting later on. Now cut the fabric. Similarly use all the other patterns and place your fabric and lining together and give seam allowance and cut it. Now using a tracing paper and a tracing wheel, mark your darts at the back. In this particular blouse, we have darts at the back pattern only. The front is a princess cut. So mark your darts accurately. In this blouse, I'm going to show you how to do a seamless lining. Seamless lining is basically the one in which you don't get to see the seam at all. So your lining and outer are attached in a way that all the seams get literally sandwiched in between. If they are like facing each other and you don't get to see them outside so for that reason you need to mark your darts for the outer fabric also now once that is done take out your uh, pieces the linings will be attached together like a different shell and the outers will be separately attached like another shell so there are two layers of your entire blouse that you're going to sew and then you're going to attach them together although it is a complete seamless lining but still at the shoulder you will see some um, you know you will see your seam there because for a sari blouse somehow a complete seamless lining will not work so much because you might need to do some changes later on what if you have to uh, do some fitting at the shoulders at the later stage just to make it more fitted and in that case you will need to rip open the entire thing to do that adjustment so it's better that on the shoulder we don't do a seamless lining so just follow the process see how i'm doing it i'm attaching the lining first and then the outer and then i'm going to sew them in a way that i can turn them inside out and uh, then attach the front and back
After all the pieces have been attached together, I have sewn them on the sewing machine. Give slight notches in the front where your princess cut is so that it folds better. And do, do the similar thing for your lining as well. Now let's attach the cups to the lining. See carefully how I'm attaching the cup. The depth of the cup is actually facing the wrong side of your lining. So place it where the maximum depth is uh, for your cup and for your uh, lining and place your pins together and then take it to the sewing machine and sew all around it. Do the same thing for the other side of your pattern as well. Now your lining is ready along with the cup. Now place your lining and your outer fabric in a way that the right side is facing the right side. Attach them properly very accurately so that they match, all the seams match and place your pins all around it. After placing the pins, do the sewing at the center front curve, at the bottom and at the armhole. Leave rest of it open so that you are able to turn it inside out properly. This is how it will look after turning it inside out. See how neat it looks. And now you will do the same thing for your back patterns. You will place your lining and your outer together in a way that the right is facing the right. And then you will give a stitch at the neck, at the armhole and at the bottom. Let's now attach a zipper. The method of attaching a concealed zipper I have explained many many times before. In fact there is a video which talks about different type of zippers and how to apply them. It is very important that uh, you put your pins before you start sewing it on the machine because you want to match your zipper. You don't want one side to be longer and another to be shorter. So place your pins accurately in a way that they both match, both the sides match at the end of it. Now in order to do a concealed zip, you need to have a concealed zip foot. There are different type of foot. There is a metal one and a plastic one. The one I use is this one and uh, gives me very good results. So let's see how to attach this. Now attach your concealed zip foot 
and make sure that your needle is pointing at that hole if it is not then you should move your needle by moving the dial which is meant for zigzag stitch in this machine i'll show you how i'm moving that this is the dial and when i'm moving that my needle is shifting as well so i have to make sure that it points towards that hole After sewing the zipper, sew the top part of your blouse using the one-sided foot. So you'll have to remove your zipper foot and place it with the normal zipper foot, which is basically one-sided foot. After sewing that, cut the extra zipper. Don't worry, your zipper is not going to open up from there. Once it's sewn from the top, this will secure your zipper as well. So your zipper is ready. Sew the bottom part of the zipper, fold it in and give a little stitch on top of it. You can sew it with the machine or you can use your hand stitches for that as well. If you think that it's a little thick and your needle might have a risk of breaking so you can sew that by hand as well. Let's now sew the side seam. I have given one inch seam allowance, so I'm going to follow the line of one inch. But if you want to give your personal fitting based on your own measurement, you can do that. And depending upon how much seam allowance you've given, you can follow that line. So sew your side seam on both the sides. Similarly, sew the shoulders as well for both the sides. With that, your blouse is ready.